Today you are going to learn HTML in just 5 minutes with me and you will create this super simple HTML page with the knowledge you will gain. Hey friends, I'm Stevan and I'm here to help you land your first software developer job and in this video let's quickly learn the basics of HTML. First of all, if you want to follow along with me, go ahead and open VS Code. If you don't have it installed, I have a video where I talked about how to download it and install it so I'll leave the link around here so you can check it. Let's now create a folder which is where we are going to create our project and for this let's go to our VS Code and let's click on open. We can create it maybe in our desktop so for this let's just go to our desktop and create a new folder. We're gonna call it HTML tutorial. So hit create and then let's just open it. Here what we want to do is just to create an HTML page and let's just call it index.html. Okay now that we are here let's just create an HTML template just hit shift plus exclamation mark and enter and this will create this code automatically don't worry about it I will explain it later. The other thing we'll need to do is just to go to our extensions here and install live server if you don't have it installed. In my case I have it so I don't have to do anything. Just go ahead here you'll find a button that says install and after you have installed it you'll find the button to start up your server just here. It just says go live. Now before we go any further let's see what is HTML. And HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and it is the code that is used to structure a web page and its content. So that's important to know HTML is not a programming language like JavaScript or Java R, it is a markup language. Now to create an HTML page you need HTML elements or tags and I like to think of them like building blocks that you put on top of the other to create a web page. So let's now see the anatomy of an HTML element and as we can see here they have an opening tag and they are denoted with these angle brackets, they have a closing tag and it is the same but with a forward slash just before the name of the element and then within these tags we have the content which in this case is hello. There are other elements like empty elements that just have a self-closing tag and we'll see that after but let's just try this. So let's type div here, let's type hello, let's save it pressing command s and then let's just start up the server clicking here this go live button and here we are. Hello. Okay next let's see the anatomy of an HTML document. So here we can see that we have an HTML tag and this is where all our HTML code is going to be written. It is wrapping our head and our body element and in our head element inside of it we put our metadata, we put the title of our page, this is what is going to be displayed here and we also put our JavaScript scripts on our uh, CSS uh, style sheets. Lastly we have our body tag which is where we are going to write all the HTML code that is going to be displayed in our browser. Right so some of the most basic HTML tags are for titles, for images, for paragraphs, for lists, for call to actions and there are also elements without any semantic meaning like the div element. In this case if we try out the h1 tag which is for titles and we say hello here we type it and save it, we'll see that the hello is going to be displayed differently than the div tag here and it is because this is especially for titles and the browser give it a default style, it has a semantic meaning. Okay now that we have finally learned some of the basics of HTML, let's go to the fun stuff, let's build our page. So let's take a second and analyze our page. So here we could say that this page has some sort of wrapper around it so for that one we could actually use a div element, a div element then we have a, a title and with that one we could use the h1 tag and type here Morty Dancer. Then we have an image and the image um, is denoted with the img tag and it has two attributes so basically every HTML element have attribute that's very important to know and in this case the source attribute is where you put the path to your image and the old attribute is where you put the name that you want to be displayed in case your image is not loaded in your browser. Later on we have a description so for this one you should use a p tag. Then we have a list and in this case it's an unordered list. 
and this one accepts some children so this would be the li element so here we could type rig and so on later on we have a tag which is for a link and the href attribute is to add the link where you want your user to be taken after clicking the link so i'm just going to paste my code here because it's going to be faster and you can just copy it if you are following along here with me you can copy this source attribute for the image and this href attribute for the a tag okay so once you have finished your code you can just go and save it with common s and then just go to your tab and see the result of it so here it is beautiful okay so that was a quick view of the basics of html by the way if you want to get all the material i've used in this video i'll be leaving the link to my newsletter on the description so you can go there sign up and i will email to you everything i will also leave the github link to this project in case you want to check the code if you like this video and it has possibly helped you on learning the basics of html definitely support this channel by liking subscribing and leaving me a comment see you in the next one ciao ciao